Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Apple CarPlay wireless dongle. So this is where you have a factory fit, well factory Apple CarPlay, so it will be a wired one. So you can see that's been wired to there, I've got the Apple CarPlay there. So now what I want to do is make it wireless, so when I enter the car, I don't need to plug it into the cable because I always forget to do that. So now it will be wireless, so then it will just come up like that, which I've always wanted. So what I'm going to do is take that off take that off and leave that there I've done an unboxing video unboxing them um, video I'll link in the description box below if you guys want to check that out uh, so what we'll do that I'll just probably cancel that and probably might need to go to media so I've just put that on media there and what I'm gonna do is connect this so I'm just going to put it on number two, or number one, and hopefully, I should get something. Oh, there you go. So this came automatically. So it says here, would you like to use CarPlay, the MMI? Telephone function and the use of iPod Mini to will be deactivated. So, activate Apple CarPlay. Okay, when Apple CarPlay is active, data and transfer between vehicle and the iPhone. Do you really wish to? Yep. So, yes. Okay, so it's on Apple CarPlay. Already. Oh, okay, so that's pretty good. So it says here, use Bluetooth connection or connect with USB. So. I'm going to go to settings, Bluetooth, and then this is the Bluetooth connection, so Audi M5, see if I can find that. There you go. So right on the bottom there, so connect to that. So it's just uh, getting connected. So it says CarPlay, okay, uh, so it says here, use CarPlay with CarPlay Automate connects your iPhone to the car's built-in display and access your phone, yep, so use CarPlay. So now I've got that, and it's connected there, and there we go. Now my phone is on wireless, and everything is on here. Perfect. So, just like normal. And I've got my Google Maps, my WhatsApp, and then you got my business WhatsApp. And I believe if I go on to CarPlay on settings, I'm sure they have CarPlay somewhere here. Can't remember. CarPlay. There you go. And then you can customize it. So obviously you have to click on. Um, so if you go to CarPlay and then put down Audi, um, the one you're connected to. So you can see there. So then you just press customize, and you can add or remove. So it says here more apps. All oh, right, I've got no more because I've used all of them. So you can see there. They're all there, and you can move them around. So I've got to put, for example, what's up on that side. So you can see it just literally changed. So if I do that again, so if I change that what's up down there, so you can see that just changed. I'll probably just put that there and have the business one there. Pretty cool. So that is really good, actually. So I'm just going to quickly test that out. And obviously here you've got your battery indicator there, obviously your how much Wi-Fi or signal you've got left. So really good actually. Setting, so you can have all that always on dark mode, that's what I like. Dashboard, show album picture. And obviously once iOS 14 is out, it's going to look even better. So very happy. No lag whatsoever. And all you got to do is put the box, just literally just sit it like that. 
just out of the way sorted oh I just got a whatsapp message so I just want to quickly test this out so pretend I switch my car off open the door okay so now it's basically I've left the car it's as, as if I've left the car basically so now if you wanted to come back in switch the car back on okay look at that it's already connected I'm gonna try to do that again but this one, I'm gonna close the door just to just to show you guys so I'm just gonna switch that off and I'm just gonna leave Switch the car on. Wow. So it's just basically got an Apple CarPlay. And obviously if you want to go back to the MMI, you just literally press MMI. And now you'll have Apple CarPlay always connected. Which is really good. So really happy with that product. Highly recommend it if you guys really want a wireless experience. I've always wanted that because obviously with the newer cars you can actually get wireless carplay and sadly with these ones even though it's a b9 new model you can't get it i'm sure i'm not 100 percent sure if audi does it on the newer one the 9.5 b9.5 but really happy the fact that now i don't even need to charge this or plug a cable in all sorted here really happy with that so if you guys want to buy this as well, I'll link in the description box below for you guys. Um, just to let you know, it does cost £160, but I'd say it's worth it because um, it just makes life more easier. And now you'll always have Apple CarPlay. And at the same time, you'll have your uh, maps here. Obviously, it's not going to be Apple CarPlay maps. So I'm just going to quickly test that out. So if I wanted... Let's go to Google Maps because um, I already uses Google, so I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm doing it, but just wanted to give it a shot. So I'm going to quickly just do something. Okay, so I've just got SatNav running there. Oh, okay, so if you've got SatNav running, obviously that's going to go. I say I won't connect there, which is fair enough. Then just wanted to quickly check that out. So, um that's how uh, CarPlay works, wireless CarPlay on your um, car. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Please like, share and subscribe. And like I mentioned, I'll leave everything in the description box below for you guys so you can buy it as well.